This is a supplemental tutorial for Chapter 3 of the book Google SketchUp for Site Plans by Daniel Tal. In this particular tutorial, we're going to explore how to build a component library. I spend a great deal of time in the book talking about components and the importance of using pre-made components for modeling anything you want to in SketchUp. A lot of the tutorials that we review in SketchUp in the book require that you have some components that you can use such as benches and trees, people, architectural components and so we're going to review what that means and how to build a component library. So I'm going to give an overview here of the things that we're going to cover in this particular video. The first one is what is a component library and then I'm going to spend the rest of the time talking about how to build up a component library going through various elements such as the bonus pack components for SketchUp 6, bonus pack components for SketchUp 7, we'll explore 3D Warehouse, and then the wonderful site of form fonts. So now I'm in SketchUp and I opened up my component browser which was under Windows components and the best way to explain what a component library is is to just show you. So this is my main root folder for my component library and each one of these categories contains components that I can use within a model. For example, I have my tree component library, and I have many trees in here that I can use, and even have a subfolder in here for shrubs, and I will keep going and I'll show you a variety of more. For example, benches, and a variety of different benches, many different types of furnishings from railed fences, to tree grates, to lighting, to desks. and even people, which is very important for populating scenes and creating activity when you're creating your models. Now, how you use a component library is just as important for your models. So I switched over to another SketchUp model, and this is actually the model that I used to take a snapshot for the book cover of Google SketchUp for Site Design. And just a quick look at this model, there are some custom components that I've created but you can see the trees, and the people, and the benches, and many of the items that compose the scenes are made up of components. Now I can create a, a large variety of different scenes within different models for model a model because I have so many components to choose from. To show another example, this is a courtyard scene in which I have various shrubs or little site elements, and again people, and pedestrian lights, and even the architectural components in the distance or in the foreground, the carts, the little plants, the trash receptacles. I use everything to compose my scenes through components. And the only way to create this successfully is to build up a component library for yourself. Even to point out another example are these pieces of public art, which I obtained from form fonts. And then one more example, you can see this street scene. Well, again, there's many custom components, but there's also many pre-made SketchUp components, and I'll zoom in and I'll show you some. Like these plants and a potter, again, people, the table and chairs and umbrella, even a grill, the shrubs on the ground, the palm trees and the cars. Everything was a pre-made component, and everything was downloaded from various locations, which we're going to explore next. The first place to start where you can obtain free pre-made components is from SketchUp.com, SketchUp.Google.com. And here we are at their homepage, and you can see the links to the left. And we're going to select Downloads. Once we go from the Downloads page, underneath you'll see a variety of different other links. And I want you to select Bonus Packs. And from Bonus Packs you'll find some information about components here. So if you're using SketchUp 7, Google moved the bonus packs to 3D Warehouse, and we'll explore that as well. But I want you to start with SketchUp 6 bonus packs, and I cannot emphasize this more. If you, write, if you still have a copy of SketchUp 6, by all means, go and download the SketchUp 6 bonus packs. They're the most convenient and probably the most thorough and complete bonus pack of complete components online. So I'm just going to click on that, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So here you have the SketchUp 6 bonus components, and you can see there's Windows and Mac versions, 
and there's download, and here's the download buttons. Now if you add up all the components available, there are about 2,500 different components, and they're very easy to install. Unfortunately, they only work for SketchUp 6 as far as the installation, but that shouldn't stop you if you're using SketchUp 7, and I'll show you why. Once we download these components for SketchUp 6, we can actually transfer them over to our SketchUp 7 component libraries, which again, if you're going to use SketchUp, I highly recommend that you do this. There's so many components here to choose from. You can see that there's a large variety of different types of components available for the bonus pack, from architecture, film and stage, symbols, and people. And it's very easy to download these. You just click on the download button. And what will happen is SketchUp will allow, allow you to download an executable file. Once you double click on the executable file, it will upload the components and install them into your Google SketchUp 6 folder. So if you're a Windows user, you select Program Files, Google, go to Google SketchUp 6, and then the, to Components and there it installed all the various bonus packs and I said there's um, about 2500 if not more components and just to show you one example for landscape under landscape plant materials 3D trees and you can see there's a large variety of different vegetation types in here I highly recommend that you do this if you have SketchUp 6 because it's a free way to build up a quick component library. And again, to do that, you do that from the Google SketchUp site, you go to Downloads, the Bonus Pack, and actually select the Google SketchUp 6, SketchUp 6 Bonus Pack. If you're using SketchUp 7, there's a different process to download these free Bonus Pack components from SketchUp.com. And here you can see under the Downloads page, Bonus Pack, there's the components. And there's a Help Center article to indicate to you how to actually download the SketchUp 7 Bonus Pack components. SketchUp moved them all to Google 3D Warehouse. So if you click on Help Center article, you'll get a link that will describe to you how to use SketchUp 7 to actually go to 3D Warehouse and begin to download Bonus Pack components directly into SketchUp or to save as a component library. I'm actually going to demonstrate how to do that here. So we're going to move over to SketchUp. And I'm going to go to Window, Components. And with there's three tabs up here. I want you to select the Select tab and then the In Model button. And you'll see Architecture, Landscape, Construction, People, and the Playground is my own, and Transportation, so ignore Playground for now. But these will be default folders within your favorites folder in the component browser. So I'm going to click on Architecture, and it will automatically browse to 3D Warehouse. Now once you're in 3D Warehouse, you can see the categories that I have for Architecture. So I'm going to select Windows, and 3D Warehouse browse to the window components that they have that are bonus packs for SketchUp 6. Now I want to save all these in mass. So I'm actually going to go to the Details button on the right. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to select Save as a Local Collection. And you can see I have a folder called SketchUp Components. I'm going to create a new folder within there called Architecture. And I'll create another subfolder within the Architecture folder and call it Windows. And hit OK and SketchUp automatically downloaded those components. So now I can go directly to this folder and I can start importing these into my SketchUp model and they'll always be there. I'll quickly demonstrate that again. I'm going to go to my In Model button. I'll select Landscape. Google 3D Warehouse will browse and I will select Plants and from there I can select another subfolder of 3D trees and I'll say save as local collection I'll create a new folder called landscape another folder called 3D trees hit OK and those components were loaded to my library